Jerry Mallory here, SB Nation and PrideDetroit.com. Now, a wise man once told me, if you want to be the part, you've got to look the part. Now, me, I want to be an NFL agent. Let's take a look at some of the franchise tags that have been signed this year. It's a record-breaking amount. These players will be getting the average of the top five salaries at their positions. Now, I already know. I can't get out there on the field and do what those players do in order to earn the contract myself, but maybe I can help them sign the deal. We can look no further than here in Detroit, where defensive end Cliff Averill has gone from a mid-round draft pick to one of the top players at his position, and now he's about to get paid. He signs the franchise deal, and this is just the beginning of a process of several possibilities that can occur now that he will be in the fold here in Detroit. Now, signing that deal, he's going to get about 10.5 to $11.5 million guaranteed this year. However, it's not a guaranteed franchise tag, which means other teams can negotiate with them. If we don't match that offer, we would get two first round picks. We can even do a sign and trade where we'll sign him to a deal, trade him to another team. We wouldn't necessarily get the two first round picks, but you better believe at least one first round pick and probably a second or a third would be coming our way for his services. We can even sign him to a long term deal, which is what many people want. It gives us the most cap relief and the most security. But how much is he worth? How much does he think he's worth? Well, I also do a Detroit Lions podcast. I interviewed Cliff Averill last season, and I asked him that very question about what he thinks his market value is. Let's take a listen as he, the man himself, answers how much he thinks he deserves and could get on the open market. Yeah, that's the big thing. Now, just one quick follow-up question on that. Uh, do you look at some other uh, other guys in the league, similar position, similar age? I'll say, for example, the Charles Johnson. You guys have had similar stats since you've you know, been in the league, about the same age. You just got a big, fat deal there in Carolina. When you look at a contract like that and you say, man, you know, I, I play about as good as Johnson, if not better, do you look at other guys in similar scenarios when you're thinking about what your market value is worth? Um, I mean, yeah, this offseason I did. Um, you know, when you see a guy like, like you said, Charles Johnson, you know, he has, you know, I think he's a year older than me, and we have probably about just as many sacks in the league, you know. Um, it makes you think, you know, the potential of what you can get, but it's all about timing, too. This NFL thing is crazy, so it's all about timing. It's all about, you know, what your team can give you or are willing to give you, you know. Um, so it's 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 just a, a matter of different things, but I definitely see you know a lot of DMs that have gotten paid, you know, and I feel like you know my stats are as similar to theirs, you know. Um, I mean, it just you know gives you a, a little more incentive to go out there and bust your behind, so you can you know try to get one of those fat deals. Averill's a smart guy, as you just heard there. He knows the type of talent he has. He's seen what his peers, similar age, similar stats have got. And so he wants to get the same thing. I think the best case scenario for us is to sign him to a long-term deal. The lure of two first-round picks or maybe a first and a third is very appealing, but when you draft a high-profile player, what do you hope they become? A top player at that position while they're still young. We already have that with Cliff Averill, so instead of trying to get guys where it's a crapshoot, hoping they can become the next Cliff Averill, we already got that guy in the fold and he's 25 years old. So I'm hoping we sign him to a long-term deal. It allows him and Sue and Fairley to play together for three, four years, if not more. It gives us some cap relief uh, this year, so we can now turn our focus on to Calvin Johnson and Steven Tulloch. And all in all, I think it gives us the best chance to be as competitive, if not more competitive and successful as a team than we were last year. But what do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section. Do you want to see this be a one-year franchise thing? Then we'll wait and see. Do you want him to sign to a long-term deal? Do you want some type of trade to be made? What do you want to happen with Cliff? What do you want to happen with the rest of the guys? What is your opinion about the Lions in general? I want to hear from you. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. This has been Jerry Mallory for SB Nation and PrideOfDetroit.com.